Hi guys, so it is the morning of August 9th and I have work in like an hour but I talked about in some videos that you guys will have seen by now, they're not live now but they will be by the time you watch this, making a concert shadow box for my Shawn Mendes tour specifically but um, I wanted to film this because I made shadow boxes in the past and I never filmed them but I think they're really fun to make. Um, people have great ways and like techniques of keeping like memories from concerts, um, whether it's like a journal. What are you doing? My dog's coming in here. Um, you should not open up the door like that. My dog just farted in my office. She does this all the time and I never catch it on camera. She'll walk in here just to fart. Uh-uh, uh-uh, not on the carpet, that's bad. No, no, no. The proper way to discipline your dog, Brooke, just tell them no. It works wonders. Hello, baby. So I figured I would go ahead and do this video, this little like DIY tutorial sort of thing. Even if you don't like Shawn Mendes, it doesn't have to be Shawn Mendes. You can take the same techniques and just make your own for whatever show you're going to. My DIY using the Shawn Mendes concert because I have enough stuff to make a shadow box. <laughs> So I'm sitting on the floor. This is the shadow box that we're going to be working with. Um, I actually got this for $7.50. It was 50% off. And $7.50 for a shadow box is not bad, so I won't complain. And then I guess we're going to pull out these tacks. So it comes with four of these, which I might reuse. Actually, I know exactly what I'm going to use those for, so I will be reusing those. And I have a few supplies over here to show you guys that I'll be using, as well as the four little, like, push pins that are kind of rustic looking, which is really cool. So for actual, like, things from the concert that I have for, like, a momentum, I have the concert tickets, so these are essential. I have the enamel pin, the rose enamel pin that's magnetic. And since it's magnetic and this is so thick, I think I'm just going to pin the little plastic bag on here. I have my tour passport and I don't know if I'm going to leave it like this or if I'm going to have it open like this. And maybe I'll just print off the poster. Speaking of printing, I did print a few pictures. I have two pictures that I took from the show and then I have the picture of the water bottles and then I have a picture of me and my mom. I should have printed the one of Brandon and my mom and I too. I might have to do that next. And I have the confetti bag here that I'm going to be pinning on. I have the two wristbands that I don't know how I'm going to attach yet. Probably with a pin. We'll see what I figure out with those. A pink washi tape and then a rose patterned washi tape and then I also have glue dots. I love glue dots so this is a necessity. And scissors. I printed the tour poster and I printed the picture of Brandon and us. So now I have a lot of stuff to try and fit on this teeny tiny little board here.
right guys, so this is the finished product right here. It is right by my desk. I don't want to show you my desk because it's a mess. But I hung it up here. So the funny story is the hook was down here. Uh, it was upside down and I did not want to take everything off of here because the pictures would have ripped and everything and the tickets would have been like completely destroyed because I used the glue dots. You couldn't take the hook off. So um, I took the hook off and then I tried to use a screw and then I broke the back of the frame because I tried to just screw it in the wood part because I thought that that would be sturdier than trying to screw it through the backing here and ruined that so then I had to take the screw out. So I ended up just using command strips and I'm okay with doing that on this wall because this is wood so it's a lot easier to take the command strips like off like once you take this off but this thing is not going anywhere like I'm using my full force and I cannot get it to come off. But now I have like a little shelf here as well. I'm gonna let this just stay on the wall for a good amount of time, um, a few days before I test my luck with putting something up here. So this is what it looks like um, on the inside here. I managed to get all of my little pictures. I got the stamps from the show date. Our tickets are visible. More pictures, more pictures, the pin, the confetti, and the wristbands. And then I reprinted the little tour poster. And it's just really cute. I really like it with the white border as well. But my battery's about to die. And I look like a thumb. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever made a shadow box for a concert before. And I will make another one very, very soon because I have this really, really large one. So keep out for that. It will probably be a little bit, but that's okay. I love you guys. I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.